Play is an amazing human experience. All of yourself is committed and we feel more intensely alive and alert. Uh, we, uh, in the deeper parts of play, there's a feeling of timelessness, of being in the present moment, uh, a diminished sense of self, and we're, we're at one with the focus of our play. And uh, it's, play is a, it can be an incredible ally for leaders, parents, uh, educators, who want to help children to experience a sense of oneness with nature. Because when we feel one with the focus of our play, and we uh, have the subject of our play be on some aspect of nature, there's a thrilling experience of becoming part of that aspect of nature. And it's a more insightful, uh, more profound way of teaching children. Young children know how to play. They don't need an instructional manual, a manual on how to play. But they found that children, when they become five, six years old, they start to lose their joy of learning uh, because adults have a whole other way of understanding life, more of a mental, intellectual approach. And unfortunately, that is inflicted on children. Of course, children want to develop their minds and their intellect. That's part of human nature. But uh, uh, in a modern society, unfortunately, it's our, our, our reasoning, our mental aspect that is often driving our experience. Do you know that Albert Einstein, uh, he discovered all his discoveries through his intuition, and then he used logic as a second step in terms of trying to prove uh, the inspiration that came to him. How do you so, use play is that, um, uh, particularly uh, through the sharing nature activities, is that uh, it offers children a challenge, uh, something that's very captivating. Uh, and uh, as they play it, they become totally immersed in the experience. And uh, in, in moments of profound play, you aren't thinking of yourself. You're just in the experience. You're with a tree or maybe with a bird or uh, an incredibly looking insect. And that's all that exists for you.